Hey, well, hello, friends. Mark Holmes here with my buddy Cowboy Joe Boo. And as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, and subscribing to the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, this literally does not work. Let's get open for business here. And something I'm hoping that we can do on a regular basis because, you know, my, my man, Philly 500, man. I, you know, I know he's the enemy, at least the Eagles, because I hate the Eagles completely. He's actually a pretty cool dude, man. And, uh, you know, I kind of like talking to teams, you know, the other side of the fence there to see what's going on. So how are you doing today, Philly? Uh, I'm doing all right. I'm hanging in there. I'm alive. Oh, okay. You know, so what's, been, what's been up with you, man? What's been up with me? Just uh, taking care of the kids, bratty kids all over the place, you know, yeah. running around, driving me uh, nuts. Uh, excuse me one second. I, I just got home from work, man. It's been a long day. So you don't mind if I, I, I have a little something to eat while we're having this conversation? No, eat, okay. man, eat, All eat. right, let me, let me go ahead and... Get my towel up in here. Okay. All Look right. at you. Uh, oh, man. Nice bib. Yeah. So, so go on. So, tell me about the kids and the wife and, you know, yeah, stuff that's going on in your life. Yeah, the They want the Christ mm. Christmas tree. What What are you eating? What is that? Oh, this? Wow. Oh, it's it's a cheesesteak. Oh, a, that looks good, um, man. I know it doesn't compare to what you guys have, but, but, but go on. Keep talking. Yeah. So, you know, kids driving me nuts. And then, of course, mm. you know, last night was just a, a total disaster for me a total disaster mm -hmm. i you know i thought we were, we had this thing in the bag and, and all of a sudden my whole world is collapsing i can't sleep the the eagles are, are driving me nuts with this defense wait, 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 wait. Eagles. Uh, wait, wait. did they i thought they had a bye week this week what <laughs> wait a minute it might have felt like a bye week your eagles played yesterday you don't remember yeah, they played yesterday. Who did they play? They played that satanic team from Dallas. Was that yesterday? That was yesterday. It seems like a year ago, right? Wait a minute. It, it, Hold on, wait a minute. The Cowboys played the Eagles yesterday. They played the Eagles yesterday, yeah. And what happened? Oh, I don't know. It, it, it's hard to get out. <laughs> they, they beat us. They double moonwalked our ass is what happened. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. Oh, this hurts. You mean the Dallas Cowboys played the Eagles yesterday and the Cowboys won? We're, talking, we're not talking about Madden, are we? No, no, we're not talking about Madden. We're, we're talking about some, some crazy stuff. Like, this really happened for real. I can't believe it either. I can't believe it. I'm shocked. Your boys won. I must be an alternate. I'm sorry, guys. I've been a little bit busy here trying to get stuff to get Thanksgiving next week. What did stuff. you put in that food? Oh, man. What do you got? You know what? You got <laughs> drugs in that food? <laughs> you don't remember mm. that big game yesterday? Mm. Oh. Food's like heaven, man. Yeah, you're living, so, you're living so good, me, aren't you? What happened to your Eagles? Because if I remember correctly, your team was talking a little bit about how much they hated the Cowboys, weren't they? Mm-hmm. You know, Vegas said the line that 90% of the money was on the Eagles. 90%. Yeah. That's a nice win for the casino. I believe all the talking heads basically said the Cowboys had no chance. Didn't no they? chance. Didn't yeah. They? Yeah. Wow. And Dak Trashcott, he beat... The second coming of Joe Montana, Carson Wentz? Well, well, he beat the, the defense that is like a wet paper bag because we can't stop anybody. But, yeah, head-to-head, -head, I guess he did. You mean my bumbling, stumbling, about-to-be-fired coaching staff beat your coaching staff? They beat the Super Bowl champions coaching staff. They did. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Uh, am I sleeping? Am I dreaming? You know, I think there was one person who said, I believe that the Cowboys could win that game. Do, do you know who that was? Your son? No, no, no. Because he, he was actually saying, I hope we get blown out so they fire Scott Little Head today. Oh. I think it might have been you. Uh, you're kidding. I think it might have been you. I think I remember that. Yeah. Wow. Well, Everybody gets you, lucky sometimes. You know, I tell you what, I have to give you credit because you are a true fan and a man of your words. 
I got to tell you, it's been kind of quiet on my channel today. <laughs> it's been quiet on mine. Last week, not so much. I had more Eagle fans last week telling me how much they were going to kick my Cowboys ass. They told us how we're buried, dead, and, and not just Eagle ones. I had Cowboy ones that said, "You're, just, I'm just delusional. Stop lying to the people. So tell me about this head shaving thing. Oh, okay. So if, if you know uh, Sean from the Sports Fury, he is a avid Dallas Cowboy fan. And basically we have a bet that if the Eagles would have swept Dallas, he would have to get his shaved on a live stream. Oh. And if Dallas sweeps the Eagles, my kids on a live stream will get to shave my head. So my kids are going to root for Dallas, of course, because they want to <laughs> shave my head. And, 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 and Sean is now, he is off the hot seat. And, and the pressure is wow. all on me now. It's Damn. all on me. That that's you know that, that's big man. Look, can, can we see see you with with yeah, without that? Yeah. Oh, I got hair. oh yeah. So it's not. Oh yeah. You definitely look different with a bald head. Well, I tell you what. Oh. I am actually going to go to that game in Dallas. I'm going to be there, and I'm hoping that it's revenge for last year because I was there last year when you guys came in and shellacked my Cowboys. I mean, we had a great time with our tailgate and stuff, partying and everything else. But that thing got ugly, and I mean ugly. But um. Basically, we're still in the same boat. Four yeah. and five. Yeah. Needing the Redskins. Oh, Mike. I, I can't even. I, I just can't even. I can't even say the first place Washington Redskins without just wanting to throw up. Yeah. It, it's it's hard. It's hard. And, and look, this division, I think all three of these teams are still in it. Obviously, you got to play Washington yeah. one more time. You get to play us one more time. We got two games against Washington. We got one game against you guys. So, I mean, we're going to play New Orleans this weekend, and that's trouble because we're not oh, going to go to Well, New we got them the week anyway. after. I mean, you know, a yeah. couple of weeks after, too. So, yeah, they are but playing I, on a whole different level than everybody else. Yeah. Um, but but what I do you think, think if, let me ask you, what do you think yeah. the problem is with your team right now? Because I'm sitting well, here listening. People are killing your coach right now. Well, I I, I mean, to me, it was is really a tale of two halves because in the first half, Came out, I thought the coaching, I thought the game plan stunk. I mean, you have two weeks to prepare for Dallas, mm -hmm. and what they brought in the first half was horrible. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought Carson was not good in the first half. I thought this was his worst half of, of the season. Um, in the second half, Carson got it going, and he Both was fine. Both teams really got it going in the second half. And um, the defense, just all year long, in, for, in fourth quarter, we cannot stop anybody. We were up 17-3. Mm -hmm. We couldn't stop the Titans. Couldn't stop. Carolina couldn't stop you. I mean, Carson brought it back. It was 13 13. You guys go right down and score. Then he comes back 20 20. You guys go right back down and score. You can't have a defense that allows that. And, and yeah. I have a big problem with Jim Schwartz, the defensive coordinator. I mean, mm -hmm. you saw how far back he plays guys on third well, and well, also, to, but see, you know, ridiculous. that deep because you know, you play that wide nine a lot. And with yeah. that wide nine, it's great for putting pressure on the quarterback. And I guess they figure that, you know, let's go ahead and put Dak under distress. But when you're playing that wide nine, it kind of gives you just a little bit more of a lane that if you get a good block, you know, you're yeah. seeing Zeke Elliott get to the second level. And that yeah. killed it. And, and once that started happening with your corners that were, you know, you had both your corners that were hurt, yeah. that kind of made it a little bit easier for, you know, Amari Cooper and Gallup mm -hmm. and things like that. So, I mean, I'm not saying that we're a better team by far i mean we're handicapped Dude. by our coaching and stuff but that was to me a typical nfc east game you know yeah, between it was you it, 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 throw the records out the you know it's just whoever just gets lucky that night yeah well you you were better last night and and, and you guys deserve it i give you all the credit in the world you guys went into philly and beat us so hey i mean this is a wide open division i know a lot of eagle fans are like this whole season's over, whatever. I'm I'm focused on winning the division. I want to get to. The, I want to win a division and yeah. get a playoff game. I mean, you know, let's take it one step at a time. So that's kind of where I'm at. I'm just focused on the division. Mm -hmm. But you got to tip your hat to Dallas. You got to tip your hat to Dak. Z. They came in in a must-win situation and they won. So I got to give them credit. Wow. As much as I hate to do it. Are, are you wait a minute? Hold, uh, time out here. Are you sure you're a Philadelphia Eagle fan? I'm a Philadelphia Eagle fan. Because I, I can't seem to get any other Philadelphia Eagle fans to say anything to me other than fuck you. <laughs> well, you know, the thing <laughs> is, is, 
my my whole thing is 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 you got to give other teams credit when they win because when you win, you want that credit back. And Amen to that. That's the way it works. All right, man. Well, tell listen, guys. I know he's the enemy, but he's actually really good people. He's funny as shit. Subscribe to his channel and go over and give him crap. Okay, but but tell everybody where to find you. Yeah, you can find me Philly Five Hundred. I'll be in there. Just type in Philly Five Hundred and it should come right up. Mm. Um, always there, putting videos out almost every day. So you can find me there. And if you want to torture me, bring it. I'm always ready for it. There you go. All right, guys. We've enjoyed this one. Now we got to start thinking about the Atlanta Falcons that lost to the Doo Doo Browns this past week. <laughs> no time to enjoy this shit. Every week from here on out is a playoff game, and at least we got one. So we've got hope for next week at least. I'm Mark Holmes, and make sure to check out Philly 500. I'll see you guys tonight at our live stream at 9 o'clock Eastern. See you soon.